What is up guys? I'm Quip Fun Guy and today I'm going to be showcasing Pride the One. So I haven't evolved him yet. I just want to evolve him really quickly, but let me just say it took a minute, right? To get all you need a million sunshine to evolve this unit, right? Let me just show you for example how many portals I went cuz I did the in infinite mode. Look how many portals I have, right? <laughs> Look how many portals I have. That's way too many, but this unit is definitely worth it. So let's just go evolve him now, right? So you saw his stats just a second ago when I was showing you. It's all A's, just solid A's, no A plus, no A minus. So let's just evolve him really quick. So let's see, where's he at? Pride Day, evolve. All right, we're going to get Pride the one. Let's just evolve him. And wow, look at that unit. That looks so sick. He's only superior one. I don't have any trait rerolls right now. I'm waiting for the second half of the season. But guys, he looks amazing. And this is probably the best unit in the game I mean, the only other person that could probably top him might be Doflamingo, but Doflamingo is not a hybrid, and this unit is, so I'm not going to lie, he's the best unit in the game. Let's not even argue. Pride the one is the best unit in the game. Come on now. Okay, so just to look at his stats before we do any bit of upgrading, right? Let's go check him out, right? So he went from all A's to triple A+, plus, right? That's not bad at all. So, and he just, I can't stop looking at this unit. He looks great, right? But let's look at his unit, like his stats. So he's got... 51 22 so that's not bad starting damage i know he goes up in damage as the rounds progress so usually you want to spawn him in around wave four his attack speed is 7.4 not bad at all and his range is 19.5 i know those all increase as the waves continue so when we get into the showcase we're going to look at his stats a little differently so starting off they don't look crazy you know compared to someone like uh luffy or fujitora but he definitely does progress way better than they do okay guys i actually did do some off cam farming if you know what i mean i just i couldn't do i could not do the showcase with superior one it just was not gonna happen right so now he's superior three i'm gonna show you me re-rolling for that but whatever whatever right okay so now that he's superior three we're gonna go and test him out listen guys this unit is going to surprise you. I know a lot of you already, you know, obviously know about him because he's been out for an update or two. Or how, I don't know how many updates at this point. Whatever. I'm still showcasing him because this is what people want to see. And if you're anyone like me, you think this new Madoka update is it, it's all right. You know, it, like it's OK. It's not it's not the greatest. Though. So like I'm going to make a video on, you know, Mammy soon, maybe. But it, it's really not the most interesting thing. All right. So. We're gonna get into this here uh he is a hybrid at a certain stage but we're not doing hybrid today guys we are not doing hybrid today at all you know what all right eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by the toy fell eeny meeny miny mo okay we're doing ghoul city i could not be asked to go through that entire song so we're gonna go through ghoul city show you he progressively gets better i believe it's 9.5 percent damage every round he's placed and 4.5 percent range and it maxes out after 15 rounds being placed in and it's ideal that you place him around wave four ish because he does cost quite a bit so you do want to have your money up not your funny up a little bit before you get there all right so loading in here right i want you guys to realize one thing and one thing only we are not talking about no basic no basic unit we are talking about pride the one it don't get better than that right he's the best unit in the game you might say oh quiv his damage is lower than doflamingo oh quiv his damage is lower than luffy it doesn't matter he is him it, like it really doesn't matter like this unit is him you know why you know why and i'll tell you one thing and one thing only right get this he is full aoe no other unit is really like him right like he is the one and the only you know like i'm not saying he is but you know you know what i'm saying right like no other unit is as good as him and you see right there right so he goes up every round progressively like you don't even need to touch him and his damage will go up for 15 rounds straight so i'm just gonna get these money units up first and then whatever uh i will place yoshina right here before i'll get rid of her later when he's max upgrade but just to help him out a little bit because his attack rate starting off is slightly slow all right, you see that 6.9 percent and 4.5 percent so i'm guessing it goes up slightly each round i'm not i'm not a mathematician we're just gonna know that it goes up every you know up to 15 rounds i am going to get my money units fully upgraded and then we're gonna start upgrading him and showcasing all his moves okay just quickly i want everyone to take note right like he just like i haven't upgraded him once and his damage has gone up in 
Okay, I think I placed him wave two. I'm just guessing. His damage has gone up by 3,000. And I haven't even upgraded him, right? All right, there it goes again. 8.1%. So it progressively goes up as you get towards that, you know, maximum of 15 waves. It starts off at like, I guess, six. And then it fi finishes off at 9.5% increase. And the range also increases. Like this unit is amazing i mean like i said i know he's been out for a while but this is my showcase and you guys are here to understand what i gotta say about it so that's what i gotta say but before i put it off to the next segment listen look how good he looks like look at that look at that like you guys know i'm a big fan i'm a very big fan of the way characters and units look like when i did my showcase on gojo amazing i think he's one of the best looking in the game but look at this like that's crazy look at that that's crazy and while we're at it let's look at that first attack because i haven't even talked about that yet right i haven't talked about that yet let's look at it he just jumps at him and you know bow smacks down like what are they gonna do he's kobe dunking on them bro kobe didn't even dunk like that's what he's doing that's what he's doing okay so this first boss thinks that you know i'm just gonna have some fun with him no it's upgrade time it's upgrade time bam ready Seventeen thousand. First upgrade sun spear let's see it let's see it let me see that sun spear yo sick it's it's fire that is a great animation like there's no complaining let's look at this again so after a couple of sunshine you know buffs and whatever he's at look at that 29.7 range at 25,000 damage at upgrade two upgrade two what are we on here what are we on here like this guy is like there's a reason why they call him the best ready but this isn't the reason so we're gonna go into the next move now cruel sun right let's see cruel sun so he spawns in the literal sun he spawns in the literal sun is like yo i'm gonna throw it at you i'm gonna throw it at you and you know what while i'm at it i'm gonna do sixty thousand damage basically and you're gonna be like oh man sixty thousand damage it's not that much i i can take it no you can't you know you you can't because i get upgraded again and i'm basically at sixty-two thousand. it doesn't matter id1 is him this is all i'm gonna let you guys know is this unit right here this unit right here is him and he'll let you know that he'll let you know that like his damage is there to provide it right all right let's stop messing around and let, let, let's get to what we all want to see the full aoe all right so at upgrade eight you get pride flare this full AOE attack. Look at that. Look at that. At 6.5 seconds and 91,000 damage. He's not even max yet. At 36.5 range. He's like, you know what? I'm tired of just throwing the sun at you. Why don't we become the sun? You know, like, why doesn't everyone just become the sun? Right? And his damage is so good. Like, look at this. Right? So his max damage now, 161,000. Right? And he's full AOE. And a lot of you guys might try to make the argument, oh, hey, Quiv, at uh, max upgrade, Dope Flamingo with uh, Superior 3 does 427,000. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know why it doesn't matter? Because Dope Flamingo's AOE is a tiny little circle. So when he's doing that 427,000 to like one or two units, Pride is doing it to every unit on the map, basically, because he can reach almost every unit near him, right? And like, look, his sunshine boosted him again so he's at 168,000. he's not even done yet guys he's still got one more wave because we place him at wave two i believe or wave one i don't know when i place him it doesn't matter look at him okay so is that his max we don't know we're gonna find out 175,000 at six seconds at 41.3 range who is this man who is this man like he's crazy like there's no explaining it he is crazy he is him they like guys if i can express to you how good this unit is there's not words there's really not words let's just see let's wait for one more wave let's see if he goes up at any more damage right because he's only superior three you know he's max level and he's got look at that sunshine hundred and eighty three thousand. that's his last thing for sure Hundred eighty three thousand at 42.4 range are you kidding me yo i'm gonna turn into the sun over here now you're not you're gonna turn into the sun all the way back here he is him if you guys don't have pride the one what are you doing you know why you know why i say that because look at this ready look at this ready one two and now you got three now you got three now you have three pride the ones just saying you know what why don't we all be sunny like look at this dark map right look at this dark map it's not dark anymore i guess it's not dark anymore because it's bright like yo this guy is insane oh 
Okay, so, okay, I, I freaked out there. I'm sorry. I thought he got another sunshine. I was like, no way. And yo, he takes around roughly like, probably, I want to say 100,000 and fully upgrade, but whatever. And look at this. So you can see the difference. He's max, but this one's only doing 92,000. He's doing 183,000. You see how good that sunshine upgrade is? Now you may be saying, oh, well, my other units immediately upgrade. But do they do full AOE? No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't. And you just have to admit it. You just have to admit it. Like, they don't do full AOE. I'm sorry. They just don't. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a comparison here, right? So let's go over here. So Pride is doing 183,000 with this kind of AOE. Like, everything in the circle gets hit, right? And he's doing this every six seconds at 42.3 range. And so a lot of you are arguing like, oh, but my Luffy does 200 and how much thousand? 248,000 every 6.5 seconds at 37.6 range. But you want to know what your Luffy's AOE is? Just look at this. It's pitiful. Where is it? Look at that. Like, that's not bad AOE. But let's just see something else, right? Luffy's like, haha, I got my little circle. Hello, I have the entire map. You mean nothing to me, Luffy. Like, you guys get what I'm saying here? Like... Pride is him. They call him the one for a reason, right? Because he is the one. He is himmy, bro. Like, he is the top of the map. Like, this is something you guys need to understand. And, of course, you guys know what time it is. You guys know what time it is. It's time for the goods and the bads about this character, right? All right. Let's just talk about the bads first. Let's get it out of the way, you know? There's nothing really bad, but if I had to critique anything, it's his damage. But that can be fixed with unique or any, you know, kind of mythical i don't know what they're called whatever trait right you know the really rare ones that can be fixed but 183,000 at full aoe is busted like the only reason why i say that's busted is because although the damage isn't you know comparable to some other units we have currently the aoe makes up for it because like i said while those units with those high damage are hitting a very small aoe circle or you know like a cone i'd hits everything he doesn't miss like he does not miss He's eight for eight. He's nine for nine in the hole. Like he doesn't miss. Like he is the best. But let's just, let's get into the goods. This character has great animation, great attacks, you know, great AOE. His damage is pretty good. I know I just ragged on it in the bads, but I can't deny it's better than a lot of other mythic units. You know, he's pretty top tier in damage. All right, but you guys know me. Like I, I can't, I can't deny it any longer. Like, I already talked about it a little bit, but we need to look at this man, right? Oh, oh, I'm a little too, I'm a little too close, right? So look at, you know what? I'm just gonna get up close, right? Look at this. Look at this unit. Like, how do I explain? That cosmetic is crazy for him. That big axe, I forget the name of it. Don't hate at me if you're a Seven Deadly Sins fan, right? That axe, the flames, his eyes, like his grimace. Like, he looks crazy. And like, the definition they put on him, like, that's the one thing, and I'm not going to start any sort of war in the comments, but Anime Adventures does its graphics better than certain games. And that's something that you can appreciate about every unit inside of this game. Like, look at him. He's fantastic. Like, there's nothing that looks bad about this unit at all. For those asking tips on, like, how to get Pride, here's a little bit of information, right? So, first of all, you're going to start by getting Pride Knight, and then you're going to have to go into play mode, right? So let's just teleport there because I'm not going to make you guys watch me run. So you go into play mode and you have to have um, the, where is it? Fabled Kingdom story mode complete. And then you'll unlock Fabled Kingdom 10 Commandments. You have to get 12, no, six, sorry. I'm thinking Meliodas. Six chalices, six horns, and three flowers, right? And then you will upgrade him, not from Pride Knight to Pride the One, but from Pride night to pride day and when you get pride day the next way to grind easy is a lot of people say oh do portals do portals portals will get you uh sunshine essence and that gives you twenty five thousand. no we don't do that here we don't do that you know what you do you take your butt you get in play and you do this right here right Where, where's it at fable kingdom infinite mode infinite mode takes roughly 38 40 minutes right but you get a hundred thousand meanwhile the uh, portals will take you 15 to 20. So do the math. You get more from doing infinite mode and it's a lot quicker. And plus you can just sit down and relax instead of having to, oh, go back to lobby, go back into the game mode, go back to lobby. You know what I'm saying? Like just do infinite mode and you'll get his sunshine very quickly. You need to do, I believe you have to get a million sunshine. And after you get a million sunshine, then you can evolve them. So you're talking probably 10 infinite modes. Not that much guys, 
it only took me probably like four hours to do all the infinite modes i might be lying i can't do math just do whatever math 40 times 10 is 400 minutes i don't know i'm not good at math you guys know this it's been a thing since the first episode so let's just see right let's just look at him one more time i'm sorry i, I have to look at him one more time pride d1 what are we going to say about this unit he's the best in the game no better no one's better there's a lot of good characters but he is the one no pun intended he is the one well that wraps up today's video if you guys stayed this far make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and i can't thank you guys enough for all the support i've been receiving and you know the only thing i have bad to say about pride is that there is no cosmetic for him i forgot to say that earlier but i'll just throw that in there at the end but if you guys want to leave a comment you don't have to but let me know what you guys thought about the video and if you have any questions make sure to leave it down in the comment section and i will try my best to get back to you but like i said that's all for today's video and as always i'm quick fun guy out